Hi, designers. I am Tammy from SketchUp for Interior Designers.com, and I'm super excited to be bringing you this new series. I have a client located in nearby Morro Bay, California, and she has graciously agreed to allow me to film her project from start to finish and how I use SketchUp throughout that process. And I'm super excited to show you all. And uh, this is the first video in that series. So I hope you enjoy it. And as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Tammy at SketchUp for Interior Designers.com. We're here in Morro Bay, and I'm really excited to show you this house that I just started working on a couple weeks ago. Um, it's already in the demo phase. And they were feeling a little bit stuck as far as layout for the kitchen um, finishes and they are going to be adding on to the front of the house so figuring out this front door transitioning into the house without having to go through the addition through this bedroom is going to be a challenge um, but i'm excited to help them think through it along with their architect and you can see that it's a fairly dated house, um, very dated. This is the front bedroom, hallway closet, lovely pink bathroom. And this is what is now the master bedroom. And I don't know how well this is coming through, but that out there is the ocean. It's a very bright day, so it's hard to see. Some nice uh, detail right there. Lovely carpet. And this is the master bathroom. So the clients are excited, and I'm excited to get creative in here with this space. There I am. Hello, designers. All right, so main challenges in this space are the addition, the small size of it, making sure there's enough space for a dining room table, furniture, adding a small fireplace, and the kitchen layout. So I'm excited to show you how I use SketchUp to help the clients work through these problems. Okay, designers. So the very first thing I do in a project after the retainer is paid, the contract is signed, I come into the space and I get accurate measurements. And for this house, I actually already did this for the kitchen a couple weeks ago because they needed those quick and uh, to get started on that. But now we are focusing on the rest of the house. So we're getting an entire house measurement today. And so I'm in the master bedroom right now, the before as you can see behind me. Um, and I just go around the space and I get my uh, digital measure and my tape measure and my laptop. And I just go from corner to corner. I get the entire, um, so I started in this wall behind me. I measured from one wall to the other, got that length. And then I added in the details like the slider door and how tall it was, the bathroom door, how tall that was. I measured the bathroom, added that in. And I just worked my way around the room, adding in the doors, the windows, the heights of those, how high they are um, off the ground, if it's a window, and so on. And I take pictures of the electrical. Sometimes I will go ahead and record the electrical, but if I'm short on time, I just leave that for the future um, drawings, just because I need to get started on schematic. And getting down all of the electrical um, can be a little bit more time consuming. So as you can see now, I'm moving into the hallway and um, that's where I'm left off to go ahead and record this to explain, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. And you can see, I just have my laptop and my measuring tools on the floor. It's not very glamorous. This house has already been demoed, so there's no furniture, there's no cabinets, there's um, in the kitchen, there's nothing. So I'm just working off the floor and I just uh, work my way around the space and uh, 
yeah, make sure that I get everything recorded before I go.
Okay, so I got all of my measurements. My digital measure is just about out of battery. My computer is just about out of battery. Everything is telling me it's time to be done. So I'm gonna get a few more pictures and I will take my drawing back to my desk and clean it up a little bit and I'll get started on the schematic design.